All right. This is what I've been so excited for. Right here. I'm going to crack it. I do have to say that the last uh, few master sets, the modern master sets, it was not really a good idea to sell the cards for the first six months. They generally lose value for about the first six months. Masters 25 lost from between July to January, July 15th to January 16th, then started coming back up. Uh, 2017 stayed actually pretty steady from April 17th until about January of 18. So. That's a bit of an outlier. But then, uh, Modern Masters 1, it basically came out, spiked in value, and then lost value for the next almost six months. So, I personally wouldn't sell any of these cards for the first six months. But, let's get started. Elemental Fume Spitter Daybreak Coronet. Miraculous Recovery, Swift Reckoning, and Garna. Daybreak Coronet. Not the best hit. I'm actually really hoping for some vexing devils. Very. Recto Shred of Freak. Seismic Assault. I have plenty of those. Ancestors Chosen. Blast of Genius. Golgari Thug. Foil. Martyr of Sins. Let's for fun just go through that one. Faith Looting. Alright, how are we going to do this? Much easier to open than everyone's complaining about. Zombie! Huh? 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 Oh. Oh. Yes! I'll put that there. Oh my gosh. I love Noble. Noble's one of the very first times I actually bought singles when Conflux first came out. Miming Slime. Containment Priests. Is that any good for... Yeah. La 
power spike. Rolling Templar. Sovereign of Alara. Yay. Spider spawning. Great strength. I think that's okay. It's a decent hit. I'm still really upset. Man, more force was not in this. And Teleria West. That's the big one that I really thought was going to be in here. It was Teleria West. Zombie. Crow of Dark Tidings. Seize the day. What's Seize the Day going for? See a land and a foil seize the day. I'm sure it's got worth a little bit. Raging Ravine. Hmm. Four dollars. Where's Red Cap? Gotta love the Red Cap. Colonnade. It's a mere guild mage foil. That might be actually something worthwhile. Spoils of the Vault. Mistvale Plains. Mistvale Plains, but no Teleri West. I don't understand. About a year ago, I bought like 12 faithless lootings, too. Realizing the power of the card, started tossing in a couple of my decks. Talk about faithless looting. Grave Troll. What's that Grave Troll worth? Hmm. Looks like it's worth less than three fifty. Oh. 
the ranged assist. Squee. That's not an exciting pull. Desperate ritual. Man, only one foil so far. Come on, boxing devil. Urborg. Tomb of Yogmouth. Is that going for anything? Hey, it's about $10. Right? I'll be happy with that. Deck more. Turn to mist. Get it. I just sold my Lauren one once. <laughs> uh, what's that? It's about ten dollar hit. Not quite. The bogle. It'll forever be a boggle to me. I don't care what anybody says. It's a boggle. Worm. Wandering Champion. Rebel Arts. Hmm. Come on, foil. Crusher and foil. Eh, I'm guessing that's a dollar too. Maelstrom Pulse. I don't care if it's not worth that much. I love that card. How much is Maelstrom? Eh, 650. There's a foil. Oh, that's another one I needed. Seems like I've gotten a bunch of the angelic renewals. Those resurrection. That'll probably be actually a penny or two. Is there a foil version of that yet? First Mythic. Bitter Blossom. Chairs Eat It. How much is Chairs Eat It going for? Visions of Beyond. Useful card for the decks I like to play. Alright, winding down a little bit here. Walker 
of Grove Leovold. Pretty sure that's a decent hit, right? Where is Leovold? There. Eleven bucks. My hopes for a Karn Liliano dual mythic is not going to come true. Basking Rutwala. I love that card. The Archangel. Appetite for Brains. Kolgari Thug. Anger. Another foil. Wild Mongrel. And Talrand. Hey, the Finks. Angelic Renew. Three packs left. Foiled Bitter Blossom. I'm pretty sure that's a good one. It's about 60 bucks right now. Pattern Rafer Birth. That is an excellent card. I don't care if it's not worth a lot. 